Power judges selected. Selection of federal courts, judges, Articles 3, courts. Here, any case that is federal, including federal, appellate, Supreme Courts. How are federal judges appointed? Federal, Supreme, and District Courts are all nominated by President, then decided by Senate. How are judges appointed to the court? They are appointed to office by the President with the approval of the Senate. John Roberts, a Republican from Maryland, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President George Bush on September 29, 2005. John Roberts is currently the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Sonia Sotomayor, a Democrat from New York, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Barack Obama on September 9, 2009. Clarence Thomas is a Republican from Georgia and was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by George H.W. Bush on October 23, 1991. Stephen Breyer, a Democrat from Massachusetts, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Bill Clinton on August 3, 1994. Antonian Scalia, a Republican from Virginia, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Ronald Reagan on September 26, 1986. Alana Kagan, a Democrat from Massachusetts, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Barack Obama on August 7, 2010. Samuel Alito, a Republican from New Jersey, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President George W. Bush on January 31, 2006. Ruth Ginsburg, a Democrat from New York, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Bill Clinton on August 10, 1993. Anthony Kennedy, a Republican from California, was appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Ronald Reagan on February 18, 1988. The President has more authority over court cases than the legislative branch does. The process of making a law starts from the House of Representatives, then the bill moves to the Senate. The bill then is decided and voted on. Then the president has 10 days to sign or veto the bill. As the people's opinion changes, so does the court decisions. For an example, Plessy versus Ferguson, they decided separate but equal was okay. Over time, Brown versus Board of Education decided that was not okay. Over the years, people changed and so did the court case. The desire to impartiality is to be fair. The courts are fair to the law. For example, even though the Supreme Court did not agree with Obamacare, they did rule six to three on agreeing with it to be fair to everyone else. Sometimes a liberal justice will vote on a conservative issue because they believe it is right. 